Hi folks, uh, what you're looking at today is a accelerometer uh, I purchased and they wanted me to do a review on it and I'm um, doing the best I can but I'm having trouble getting the thing connected and you can see uh, what it is there is a GY-521 6DOF MPU 6050 it's a 3-axis gyro <coughs> and accelerometer um, at first I just connected it to a breadboard I just used uh, these little guys here, put that through the breadboard and put the little unit on these things and I could not get it to connect at all. I was using an I2C DevLib which uh, it was unable to connect and I just kept getting zeros for my readings. So I searched around, did some troubleshooting and found this I2C scanner software from our Arduino. Tried that out and uh, was still unable to get the device to show up. Uh, it was on this little breadboard here and I was playing around with it and kind of squeezing the wires against the breadboard and the uh, chip and finally yeah, I actually got it to work. I got it to at least be found on the I2C scanner software. Uh, it showed up with address uh, 0x68 and but I tried to use the other software again to get some uh, readings from it and still unable to connect so kind of figure that the connection to the breadboard and this little component here was just bad so I'm gonna go ahead and try and uh, solder it up and give it another shot alright so I've got this thing all mounted up on my helping hand device and used a couple alligator clips to kinda clamp this thing down to the board so that it was uh, firmly on there and I'm just waiting for my soldering iron to heat up a little bit you guys will get to see my amateur soldering skills now I'm doing this basically because I felt my connections were probably poor on the breadboard and doing this should at least uh, create some solid connections to this little component anyways uh, I'll give this a go All right, I got this thing all soldered up here. Try to give you a better look at it. Uh, unfortunately, my pins got a little skewed. I think if I did this again, I would actually connect these uh, leads on first that I'm about to connect. But anyways, uh, that's it. I'm so I'm going to connect some leads, at least the ones that I need, and hook it back up to the Arduino and see what happens by bypassing the breadboard. Alright, so this should be all I need to get this thing connected according to all the instructions I've seen everywhere. Alright, gonna connect it to Arduino, see what happens. Got a Uno here, it's actually a Sunfounder Uno. That's part of a kit I've got. I've got a, a regular Arduino, genuine Uno. But I've got that all connected up to a different project right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a shot. Should work. And let's just get everything all connected up here properly before we get connected to the computer. So VCC, I'm going to go ahead and put that on 3 volts at first just to see if that works. Actually, this thing's got a voltage regulator, so I'm going to go ahead and do the 5 volts, which is what I <coughs> got it working on earlier. Didn't even test the 3, but anyways. Yeah, we'll connect this to the ground. See that? And let's see, here we have the SDA, which is purple, 
backs, I'm sorry, the uh, SCL, which is blue, and I believe that goes to analog 5. And we got the purple SDA, which I believe goes to analog 4. Alright, so, and then we've got the int, which goes to digital pin 2. Just an interrupt. Alright. We can all see that. And now I'm going to get it up connected to the computer. Alright. This little guy plugged in. There you go. I apologize for the band-aid on my finger. I cut my finger doing dishes yesterday. Anyways, see we got this thing all connected. It's got a solid red light. Now, I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to have or not, but <laughs> so it's got. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do my I2C scanner software. Okay, folks, I'm back, and uh, I got everything connected and working, and I actually found some neat software that will show you a visual demonstration, as you can see, of uh, this little unit working. So you get a nice little 3D view instead of just looking at a bunch of raw data. You can actually see this thing um, giving you a little display. Very neat. Anyhow, I got this thing working and it works great. The uh, only problem I had were the connection to the breadboard at the beginning, but after I soldered all the pins together, everything seems to be working great. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And hope you have a chance to put this together and do one yourself. Thanks.